Hello, and welcome to Sunday. Now, a couple days ago, I believe it was Tuesday, I talked about cameras, specifically three cameras, uh, technically four. Uh, I talked about the 3DS, the original 3DS, which had two cameras that actually outputs to an AVI file that has two separate uh, video tracks for you know, one for each camera on the outside of 3DS, which is super neat. Um, I actually kind of love that. And, uh, like, <laughs> 3DS is not a good camera. It's not great. And while I kind of loved the, uh, vibe it gave off, it wasn't what I was looking for. I wanted a camera that, you know, was just fun to use. Something very small, something that I could just pull out and be like, hey, this kind of encapsulates the feel of what early 2000s kind of cameras were like because that's what I kind of feel nostalgic for I know like I that's what I grew up with right the little handy cams that we had back in the day and while I love the VHS and retro kind of feel that camcorders provide they don't make modern ones like that they don't make anything like that and it's so hard to get like there I go again saying like it's so hard to get one of those onto a modern system without kind of a capture program or something like that. Uh, something along those lines, rather. I'm trying to stop saying like. Um, and um. Anyway. Trying to um, capture footage and actually get on a computer. What you need is like an SD card or something that communicates through USB Type-C. And they don't really make those kind of things, like old school cameras, but with a modern twist. I, I could probably start a business for that. It'd be very fun. It'd be very unique. But uh, there's some odd things that we can do. And while I do love the bloggy, it kind of had some like, weird audio crackles and, uh, you know, it was okay. So it leaves me with one other option that I had, and that would be this. The Sony Cybershot. This is a very, very old camera. Does it have copyright data on it or anything? Um, I don't see one. But this is a... I feel like early... Well, it has Wi-Fi, right? So it's got to be like a early 2010s kind of camera. Because it shoots in HD... AVC HD, which is a bizarre format. Well, it does shoot in uh, MP4... The AVC HD format that it's shooting in is a bit higher quality. Uh, I actually might try and shoot an MP4 just to see what it's like. But I have kind of fallen in love with the look of this camera. Because it's just so fun to shoot with, right? It's so small. And while, like, a camera such as your phone, I, it's, I think it's too good. Because I can just do this. I didn't turn the flash on, no. Oh my gosh, I, I turned the auto flash off, so if I can just turn that back on. Uh, the whole the whole shot was ruined. It would have been such a fun gimmick. And I don't know where the... There was a button for... I'm still learning how this camera works, but I think... Oh, it's this. Yeah, yeah, you gotta click right on the wheel, and then you scroll over to advanced flash. Oh boy, this is gonna hurt my eyes. And my finger is blocking the lens a little bit. Yeah, you can see that. Uh, but it's just so much fun to shoot with, right? So if I go here, we can access the previous... Cannot display file? What do you mean? Oh my god. That's unfortunate. Unlucky. Why can't we display the file? That sucks. I was having so much fun... I didn't really try to play back movies or film. I, I would just throw these on my computer when I was just having fun with this, right? So I just do... Did I... I put it on multi-mode. Oh, that's fun. So it shot multiple shots. Yeah, we just want a single shot with advanced flash. And we'll see if my... Yeah, my finger started blocking the... That's... This is not great. Okay, let's try one more time. 
I think I've still blocked it. It's better. It's better. Uh, so if I go here, yeah, cannot display file. Display. Oh my god, that's unfortunate. It's yeah, I can't display file. I thought this would have been my like go-to fun point-and-shoot camera, but it's not displaying the file for some reason. That's really really odd. Uh, yeah, I don't know what's going on there. That's weird. I'll need to dig around, but that's kind of sucks. I was hoping to just view this on like why can't I view this on the? I don't know. I'll need to explore this more because I thought this would have been like a very very fun camera to just have and shoot with but apparently if it's gonna sh give me errors like that I don't think I want this around it's like there I go saying like having an early I might need to just pick up an old like a newer kind of USB type C Sony cyber shot kind of thing because I, I want a very small camera that kind of gets that vibe across without like a um because this is 16.2 megapixels, this is like 20 something. I need something with like a very, very low megapixel count that's, you know, it's just something super, super fun to shoot with. Because this is a very, very fun thing. I love shooting with this camera, don't get me wrong. But being able to just pull something out and be able to quickly capture the moment as opposed to just lugging this camera around and always having it. This is more of a professional camera. This is just something super fun and super neat to shoot with. And I really, really hope it worked. Maybe I can figure that out. But if I do, I'll put it at the top at the end because this is just super fun, super neat, and hopefully I can get it working. With that said, that's what I'm gonna call it for here for today. I'm gonna keep exploring this and hopefully you find yourself a very small and fun camera to mess around with. Okay, yeah, that's what we're gonna call it. Thank you all for watching. I hope to see you tomorrow. And until then, 